Hello, this is Jav from Jam Music in Pontefract, and this is Demo from Hypno Sister and Sleep All Day Music. And today we're going to be looking at Revelation guitars because we think they're pretty good. So make your mind up. This is a Revelation RVL in Vibrant Blue, and as you can tell, it looks very much like another guitar. Which, quite a well known so, shape. Yeah, quite a well known shape guitar. And funnily enough, pretty much sounds like that as well, uh, with a little bit of, bit of its own flavour. So have a listen. I feel like classic rock star. So he's actually designed the guitars and the pickups and the hardware. So everything on it's quality and value, real quality. Mm -hmm. um, so that's worth thinking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, it's got a five-way tonal switch, which Demo will explain to you. Yeah, um, um, it's uh, called ATM circuitry. I don't know what it stands for, but... Basically, you've got a five-position switch. It's like on other offsets, uh, you know, you've got all the different switches and stuff like that, and it's like you get a lot of different sounds, but it's quite complicated and, you know, has a million switches, and you're just like, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, if you, don't, if you haven't read the manual, you're like, oh, what's all this? I just want to play. You find the one you like and stick to it. That's what I do. Yeah, that's what, this, <laughs> this allows you to yeah, do that, basically. Yeah. You get, like, five guitars in one, yeah. in, you know, on paper. So you could literally go from jazz to rock to jangle, jingly jangly with this guitar. Yeah, exactly. And it does everything, really. Yeah. So, um, um, and another point is 
this is the same. They both have whammy bars on them, but um, we've misplaced them. So we cannot do, we can't uh, show you that today, unfortunately. But they do have whammy bars and they do work. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> trust him, he's trust, a doctor. Trust me, yeah. 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 Trust him, my salesman. Yeah. <laughs> right, so this is... This is the guitar, this is what it sounds like. This is clean. Nope, this is clean. This is position one, by the way, uh, which is uh, the ATN circuitry is disengaged. So it's just, it's the just pure the guitar. Tone. Yeah, pure tone. Pure tone. Pure tone. Pure and twistle tone. So yeah. In. Bridge pickup, middle. There's the jangle.
stuff because it is it is essentially a shoe guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, it's well, more we'll of a time guitar. Nirvana type sound of that, no? A Nirvana? Yeah, Nirvana type. You need the chorus for that, don't you? Very I've got one in there. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, we'll do shoe guys. We'll do shoe guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Set up for shoe guys. Yeah. Right. So it's very clear to bend. Well, like it is, isn't it? Yeah. Shoe guys. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, 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 it's
more affordable. More affordable. Well, we think anyway, we'll find out later. Yeah, this has got the ATN circuitry on it as well. It does all the same stuff as the white one. But, um, with humbuckers, so... It's clean. Test your knowledge on guitar pricing. <laughs> right, the RJT60 vintage white. What do you reckon it's worth? I'm going to say 400. Down a bit? 399. Down quite a lot, actually. Uh, I don't know, like 300 quid? Four, no, not four. 249. Two, four, 249 pounds. That's mad, that. It is a lot of guitar for not a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, I've played guitars that are like nowhere near as good as that, that cost like £500. I would play this, I would take this to a gig and play it, and you can't say that about a lot of £250 guitars. Yeah. And the same goes for that, although that is, is priced slightly different. What do you reckon that is? I don't know, I'll go 400 again. You're closer, it's 329, but again, that's a hell of a lot of guitar for £329, and I will take that to a gig as well any day of the week. Yeah, I mean, it's super nice. I mean, And uh, not many people will have them either, so that, that's something else to think about. If, if you're one of them that wants to stand out from the crowd... Yeah, it's definitely a bit different. These are your boys. Yeah. I mean, if you're into off, if you're into offsets, it, it's, you know it looks like an offset. It's a familiar you know, shape and stuff, but you know it's. I mean, look at that. It's you know that that color combination is crazy for a style. Look at it. And I've never seen these sort of pickups before. I mean, I might just be sort of in the dark, but I don't know. The no, P, it's quite, it's not quite bright. Yeah. <laughs> Humbuck of P90s, though. I mean, that's that's so crazy. Yeah. Stuff going down. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Anyway, we like these. Well, wait, we'll just mention this one up here. If you can grab it, I'll grab that one. Oh, yeah. I'll grab that one. Yeah, that's another Les Paul, but with three P90s. Very different sounding to the other one. But also a very, very nice guitar. Uh, if P90s are your thing, then this could be for you. Because uh, the P90s are very nice. Um, very nice. Very nice there's, there's loads of them in this as well. I mean, this is, you like P90s, this, you, you're not going to run out of P90s anytime soon with that. I mean, look, look, look how many there is. This, this is the Relation L, uh, RLP3 in Vintage Sunburst. I feel like Slash with this. You look like him. I'm look <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, people have, you know, come on before. Are you, are you Slash? I thought I'd seen you before somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can 
90s, I've not noticed before, what? the two middle pole pieces are raised, I think. Yeah. Which I've never seen before, have you? I have seen that, I don't okay. know I don't know what it's for. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe we're just stupid. I'm sure I have it's seen that. It's an Alan Entwistle pickup, so he yeah. obviously knows what he's doing, so we'll trust him on that, but yeah. I, it, it does look different. Quite, quite nice if you're boring in that sort of way, yeah. which we are, unfortunately. We might, we might, I don't know, we might just like, it boring. might be like super obvious, like what that's for, and we just like don't know. I don't know. It might be to make the other middle two strings louder for some unknown rock and roll reason. Yeah. Write a comment if you know what it is and, and tell us so we can learn, because we like to learn. Because we don't know anything. <laughs> Super heavy, like as less Paul's weigh like as much as a fridge. Yeah. But that's if you've got a really small fridge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but like less Paul, like I've, I've played less Paul's like sometimes, and you know you stand up, and I'm only small, so you know my back's like broken after a little bit. But this is like a lot lighter, but it's still got all the all the like nice like resonance and everything. Like it still feels like really solid, like a less Paul. <laughs> It plays better than, than, you know, the brand that is the boss of these guitars. I'd go for that than 
like before I went for the proper one. Well, you, you could effectively have six of them yeah. for the proper one. And you could have six different ones, different colours, different pickup combinations, different sounds. I know what I'd do. I'd yeah. have six because I like guitars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. I mean, yeah. No, I like it. It's really, really good. <laughs> and not a lot different to this to be fair anyway you decide uh, typical jazz bass setup two pickups tone volume for your bridge pickup volume for your neck pickup uh, I'll start on all three and work back from there <laughs> It's tight, like a modern, like a modern bass, but it's like nice and vintage sounding as well, like totally. The neck is a very modern Fender Jazz, very fast, quite thin. Um, what you'd expect on a, did I say the F word? What you would expect on this sort of bass, uh, right? I'll turn the neck volume off. So now we're getting the sound straight from the neck pickup on full tone. <laughs> Um, and I'll just play the same thing again. Um, 
you get the gist. Uh, that's low in output, I would say. Yeah. Possibly. More choppy, a bit more woody. Um, and I'll do the same again on half tone to give you an idea. Um, that's half tone. Swamp Ash. Nice. Nice. Not 